Hello Taurus, welcome to your love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is Mary from Mary Starrett Corner. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Taurus, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Taurus, let's see what do we have for you. Okay. <laughs> Taurus, I am what I am getting here that we might be connecting in this reading for you with someone who might be a runner. Okay, this person get it's like this person gets very easily triggered and when things are getting more difficult or challenging, they have this tendency to withdraw their energy or they're running away. This is someone who's operating from the place of uh, from the place of fear. Mm-hmm. Um, overall energy we have a history I feel that this person here feels unfinished business with you Taurus it might be a past connection this is someone who this is someone who might be from your past um, for some of you you were in a relationship with them for some of you there, there was a connection but in general, please take it how it resonates. But it feels like they feel unfinished business. However, what, what I am getting here that you are setting very strong and healthy boundaries regarding this whole situation. Because this is someone, Taurus, who has problems uh, with a clear communication. They get very easily triggered. And I feel this person is acting on an impulse. They might have a bad temper or quick temper. And this person doesn't like being criticized and again when something or when things are getting more serious or it's like there is some sort of kind of a obstacle or uh, let's say that connection is facing a challenging time they have this tendency to kind of detach to to kind of disappearing for some some time and just essentially running away yeah mm-hmm and I feel because of this and maybe you see them as someone who is unreliable if I can say it that way um, you are setting very strong and healthy boundaries and you have your guard up you know you have energy of holding back this is someone who might uh, who might be holding back but they are still holding on at the same time uh, to you and this connection you might have met this person during break or during holiday or during vacation chill out yeah i feel that this is this is the thing it feels like this person is their attitude is a way to kind of you know they're coming across as someone who it's like they don't care or they'd never really reassure you that they truly care it's like they are way too chilled about this whole thing let's see let's see Taurus yeah holding back holding on at the same time stubborn four of pentacles could you please show me more about this person this situation what's going on please nine of swords Page of Wands, the world. Well, they feel unfinished business with you. With the world. Taurus, you might be dealing with another Taurus. We have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. Four of Cups. This person is stressing out that you will reject them because of their behavior with the page of wands they want to send a message for some of you there is a physical distance between the two of you this person might be f living in a different city or different state or maybe even different country but it's like this is someone who's stressing out nine of swords that fear and anxiety stress worry that you will reject them when they send the message The magician they are manifesting 
you might be dealing Taurus with Gemini, Virgo. Mm. Scorpio we have as well. Seven of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who is stressing out and afraid that it might be indeed over between the two of you because of this person's attitude. Nine of Pentacles suggests here that you are dealing here with someone who indeed might be quite selfish and who com came across or who comes across as someone who is not interested in a stable long-term relationship because this is very kind of nine of pentacles represents that independence freedom and also that kind of single mindset meaning this person might like to to you know kind of a casual thing or it's like they are non-committal they showed you i'm getting that for a lot of you, this is someone who showed you that sort of kind of side of days, non-committal, selfish. And at some point, this is someone here who might have said something. And it's like they came across as a person who doesn't need anything and anyone, you know, because they were triggered and they said something here. The thing is that they are still invested in this in this situation, but they are at the same time very invested in their lifestyle, which is a nine of pentacles. However, they are stressing out here that things might be indeed over between the two of you. Yeah, this is someone who is very strongly manifesting communication and they don't want to experience that rejection. Mm -mm. Five of Pentacles. You're dealing here with someone who's coming from the place of luck. They might have abandonment issues, you know. But this is someone who is missing you. For some of you, there is no contact situation at the moment. I'm getting. It's like you might be not on a speaking terms. Or you had some sort of falling out. Recently, and it's like you're not on a speaking terms and this person is stressing out that it might be over. But at the same time, it's like they are... Because Seven of Pentacles is that investment in this Nine of Pentacles in that kind of, you know energy of I'm doing okay I like my independence I feel this is someone here who really wants this connection you see they are holding back but they are holding on to you and that's what I was getting and this is what they are essentially showing me whatever happened here between the two of you with the five of pentacles this person is missing you they want to be in touch and they're trying to manifest you reaching out to them but I'm not seeing that happening Taurus this is someone who will have to reach out to you if they want to change the circumstances show me this person's feelings towards Taurus okay Knight of Swords, Two of Swords, Seven of Wands, Nine of Cups, Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. The Moon is an overall energy. You might be dealing with Pisces, Taurus. This person wants to chase you. But I feel you're dealing here with someone who is very proud. They have big ego. <laughs> Two of us, they are at the crossroads because they want to have this wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. They want things to get better between the two of you. But with the Seven of Wands, this is someone who is like constantly because of their behavior and their attitude and that runner kind of dynamic that they're bringing to this connection, they are pushing you away. Then we have a seven of swords with the three of pentacles.
This is someone who's self-sabotaging. This is strong self-sabotage energy because it feels here that they could <sighs> this is someone who is lying to themselves about how they are how they are feeling about this connection they want to chase you they are pushing you away they see you as they wish fulfillment they are lying to themselves they are two faced towards themselves Two of swords, in denial, at the crossroads, what to do, how I feel. Well, you know how you feel, come on. Oh my gosh, I'm quite frustrated, I'm sorry. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if you are frustrated about, frustrated about the situation, about the attitude. And when we have a three of pentacles, this person knows that they can be a good team player. That they can be a good um, material for a long-term partner. But what they are do what they are doing, instead of kind of going in that direction, they are sub self sabotaging, and they are bringing confusion. And the thing is that they are confusing themselves. But with the moon, this is someone who is at the moment very emotional. They are very very deep in their emotions about you. Because they don't want this thing to be over. But at this time, they are unsure. Maybe they cross the line. Maybe they said something way too much. Maybe you're just tired of that situation, of them running, you know, being a runner, not taking responsibility, not being a team player. And it's like they are choosing to do that because it's easier. Taurus, who are you dealing with here? Who is this person, Taurus? Show me this person's actions towards Taurus, please. Ace of Pentacles. They're coming with an offer. Show me this person's... Mm -hmm. Show me this person's actions towards Taurus. chariot so there will be a progress regarding this situation this person will reach out to you taurus they're going to chase you the chariot major energy of ch major chaser energy as well so you might be dealing with gemini i also have cancerian energy with the chariot ace of pentacles they're coming with an offer of uh, for some of you this is reconciliation and uh, making amends with you they want to be with you like you know relationship or being in this connection yeah because this is someone who doesn't want things to be over between the two of you taurus no this is also someone who might be living in a quite uh, hot district right where, where for instance now it's a really nice sunny weather with that energy as well that's what i and that's what i kind of and with the sun here yeah mm-hmm chariots yeah chasing you but with the nine of wands this is someone here who is aware that you don't trust them that you have your guard up and you are setting very strong and healthy boundaries and that's what the nine of wands also is showing us mm -hmm. queen of cups queen of cups here as an overall energy suggests that this person needs to show you uh more softer kind of side of days they need to be more vulnerable with you because otherwise i'm not seeing you kind of you know uh i'm uh, actually i'm seeing you holding back keeping your cards very close to your chest being closed off and having your guard up indeed but expect them indeed reaching out talking about this relationship or connection and try this is someone who will try to make things better in order to kind of you know to be with you that's what they want they will chase this they want the lovers and they're going to make the offer regarding the lovers
regarding this connection six of pentacles oh they're going to be very generous with their time affection attention really could you please show me the outcome Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. The Moon has an overall energy, more Pisces. Taurus. This is a runner, that Knight of Wands. And this is in your outcome regarding this situation. And I need to be honest with you. This is someone who, at least for now, in the immediate future, near future, they are still in this Knight of Wands energy, that kind of inconsistent, indecisive energy, someone who is in and out, hot and cold. Uh, and they bringing that sort of kind of dynamic to the situation in, 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 in this outcome. We have a Queen of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles, yeah. But... At the same time, they don't want to let you go. Taurus, they don't. Because you know what it is? It's this person. It's like you are a symbol of stability for this person, Taurus. With this Queen of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles. This person is very chaotic and I feel that their life also is quite chaotic. And when they are in touch with you, you are bringing more normality to their life. You are bringing more stability to their life. That's why they, do, they don't want to let go of this connection. This is a little bit of a Peter Pan kind of energy I'm getting, you know, that's why they're coming here. It looks like a solid offer of love with the lovers. It wouldn't surprise me if this person will express their feelings that they have for you. But in your outcome, this person is still in that kind of energy of a runner that represent that it's represented by the Knight of Wands. But at the same time, they don't want to let go of this connection. No, but they are still holding back. Overall energy, we have the moon. Big question mark. Moon, it's lack of clarity, doubt. What I am getting, at least for now, for the immediate future, for the near future. Yes, they will reach out. They will try to fix the situation. I feel that you are coming from the very reasonable place to, to, to have your guard up and to set very strong and healthy boundaries with this person because they like to push their luck. I feel this person. And I feel that you are aware of their ways. But for, again, for the immediate future, near future, I don't see a significant change regarding this whole energy and connection. I see them still being a little bit quite immature, childish, reacting in a certain way, in and out, hot and cold. There is a need for a clear communication and it feels like this person uh, somehow 
is not giving you this because the moon brings that uncertainty doubt and i feel that you know irrespective of them coming with an offer and 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 trying to fix the situation it's like i feel that you subconsciously know that you know at least for now that you know they are still not providing you a certain answers they are still pro instead of providing you those 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 answers that will bring some sort of kind of clarity to the situation they are bringing that chaotic energy to this whole connection nevertheless um they're going to make a move towards you in order to make things better between the two of you because at the end of the day this is someone who doesn't want this connection to be over to be done no they this is someone who is missing you and it and you know it's like this person feels that you are the only person who is really kind of able to give them more stability but the thing is here that i feel that this person is quite quite selfish with that because it's when they need the stability they are showing up i don't feel that this person is giving much in return what they're giving is that doubt and lack of clarity and yes sometimes maybe they are romantic sometimes maybe you know they know exactly what to say but um well, Taurus, I can tell you one thing, that they're going to, that they will try to kind of, you know, make the situation better by, by, by reaching out to you or making a move towards you. You know, they're going to chase you. But this is someone who is still in this runner energy. They are still bringing that inconsistent energy, at least for now. Or for the, for the immediate future or near future. However, you know, the energy is fluid. It can change any time soon. However, based on this reading, nevertheless, based on, on, this, on, um, on this reading, they are still a runner. Taurus, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Taurus, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.